Hello guys, it's Anders and today we're having a look at Loop Cloud version 3 from Loop Masters. So Loop Cloud is essentially an online store, it's part of Loop Masters and it allows you to take any sounds that you've bought with Loop Masters and drop them into your projects, but it does a lot more than that. You can also preview any sound inside it, but it's got some other key features, so let's just list those out now. So one of the biggest ones is that you can import your own sample library. Um, that's really useful in a couple of ways, but it really takes into its own for the fact that Loop Cloud will analyze your audio and it works out the key and it works out the BPM. It also means that you can then quickly, inside Loop Cloud as well, test your sounds at different BPMs and different keys. Super useful. And if you, like me, you go out and do field recordings, you just use things like a phone and uh, grab samples. You're not necessarily gonna know the key or the, the sounds that you've recorded. Loop Cloud just then saves you a bit of time in redoing those. Loop Cloud can then figure out the tempo of that. It figures out the key of that, meaning you can get it right in a project you're after, but it also allows you to then flip the key. So you can pitch it to a different key. You can change the tempo and test that out with a different project and hear if it's gonna work then just drag and drop that into your project. It's really, really useful, especially for big sample organization. So what we'll do now, we'll go into the computer and we'll have a look at those features and how they work and then how you can use them in practice. So let's get into that. All right, so here we are in version three of Loop Cloud and this is what I really want to show you, probably the most outstanding feature with it. You can now import your own sample libraries. Now, that doesn't sound particularly important. Great, I can put a sample library in a new manager and drag and drop things that way. I can do that in Logic, FL Studio, etc. Anyway, what's special about it is the way it's analyzing the files. So if we have a look here, I've imported a file called D and B. And if we just drop that down, and you can see here, it's got my whole uh, drum and bass sample library. However, if you now have a look down here where it says key, it's got uh, the key of a bunch of the samples that are in that particular pack. It's also got an estimation at the instrument types, um, what file types they are, like WAV, Apple Loops, EXS samples, and right over here on additional, it's got the rhythms, like 16ths, 8ths, um, 4 on the floor, that like 1-4, which that's super, super useful, um, especially when you quite often get a bunch of samples that don't have a key and you have to figure them out. This can just be a massive time saver. Everything can just be done for you, as well as you can have your sample libraries, download more from online, drag and drop all the things that come with Loop Cloud that are super useful. So let's go into Bass Boutique, which was a free sample library. And if I remember rightly, a bunch of the samples weren't named with the key that they're in. Uh, the Groove Criminal ones, we're going to Loops. See, they're just named like, Acoustic fretless one, uh, not particularly helpful. However, Loop Cloud's gone through them all and where it can, it's discerned the key they're in. So it will just be looking at the, the fundamentals and working out the notes it moves between. That right there, massive time saver because I can now listen through to something that's relevant to my track or if I start with a sample like that, I know what key we're working in. I don't have to faff about and work it out. That alone, for something that's completely free, is well worth it. I mean, people used to buy a mixed in key for about 100 quid to effectively do that. And now you can do it for free with Loop Cloud and get a bunch of samples free, which is just kind of ridiculous, really. So let me show you how you can do that and how you can import a library. So I organize everything out to genre or roughly how I'm going to use it as genre. And I'll import each folder individually. Now, if you've got a really big sample library, you're gonna want, want to import it in smaller chunks like I am here. Because if I imported my whole like terabyte library, this thing would freeze up for probably a day or so. If you look up in the top right hand corner, we've got this little plus icon just here. It says add local content to Loop Cloud when you hover over it. And if you click on it, it's gonna give you a file browser and you need to just navigate to your sample library. So mine's called Sample Archive. Um, it's got a whole bunch of things in here. What we're going to do, we'll just take um, like a house, for example, and we'll get the house samples added. Click open and just let it do its thing. So now at the bottom, 
we can see that it's scanning those libraries and it's working out the key BPM and rhythms for everything in there. And it takes a little while, but then it's added and it's just job done. Absolutely loving that feature. Um, at the end of the day, organizing sample library can save you so much time. And then just if I'm browsing for samples in the store and just want to drag and drop things in, just an excellent way to work. Okay, so I've left it for the best part of an hour to go through the house library. It's still just finishing up right now. But as you can see, it's now got all of them in there that all just tagged as new for the minute. But it's figured out um, any keys in there. It's figured out rhythms. It's figured out instruments. So now it's fully organized and I can literally search by key if I wanted to. So if we use the search feature of like key and BPM up here, we could filter it out so easily. So look here, we just made a quick search. We wanted the key of F. Uh, I've just narrowed the BPM to 120 to 156. That's what I dragged it to. And look, it's finding all the samples that are in the key of F that are around that right BPM just makes life a lot easier for organizing huge sample libraries and even better when you haven't got the key in the file name. So that's Loop Cloud on version three. I hope they're gonna keep adding these awesome features. Hope that was helpful for you. I know we only really looked at how to import your sample library and get it to check out the key and everything for you. But it's honestly one of the most useful features. I mean, the rest is the case of being able to download your own samples and getting the free weekly like inspiration packs, super useful. If you want to download Loop Cloud, there is a link in the description and uh, yeah, grab it from there. It's a completely free tool. Enjoy and I'll see you guys on the next one.